guys, Sean Malone here, Crisis Response International. It is 4.30 p.m. Tuesday, July 2nd, and I wanna give you an update on our response to Hurricane Barrel. Our team has been working behind the scenes for the last 36 to 48 hours, just getting uh, our infrastructure set up, trying to make contacts, and trying to really assess the situation. Now, I do wanna say this, that this hurricane is absolutely un unprecedented. We've never seen something like this so strong this early in the season. Uh, guys, that's one of our distinctive calls is those unprecedented events. We're almost there on every single one of them. As soon as we began to see this, I knew that we were gonna lean into this. Our team has been working hard. Now, what I know right now is that this ripped through the Grenadines. It hit the island of Kirku direct hit cut across the island. Now information out of that island has been extremely slow. There's still not details coming out there. Just a few pictures here and there. And all I know is when a category four hurricane makes a direct hit, that eye wall hits, guys, things could be really bad. Now I did just hear from a contact in that area that Union Island, which is one or two islands up, 90% uh, of the homes have been destroyed. We're also talking to some contacts and relationships on the island of Miro as well. If some of you remember, we took the sailing trip when Dominica happened and we sailed from Martinique down to Dominica. Uh, that same captain's been feeding us information as well. A lot of logistics and challenges kind of getting into these islands where some of them don't even have airports. You got to take boat in there. So we're praying, we're asking the Lord, Lord, where do you want us to go? Uh, who's our man of peace? Which island? And we believe that the Lord is speaking to us. We're zeroing in on this. And uh, now let's not forget that this thing is a high-end category four hurricane, uh, technically category five heading up towards Jamaica, which is supposed to make landfall uh, tomorrow afternoon. So. Jamaica is still in play, but we know that there are heavy destruction down in the, uh, the Grenadines, the Lesser Antilles as well. Guys, I am telling you, we're leaning into this. For you cry responders out there, I want each and every one of you right now, under the sound of my voice, just stop. Stop what you're doing. I know 4th of July is coming, there's holiday plans, work situations, financial limitations. You never start there. What you got to do is just say, Lord, here am I, it seems impossible, would you send me? Guys, that's how I do every single deployment. If you start by all the limitations, all the reasons you can't, you're gonna disqualify yourself and you're never gonna do any historic exploits that God has prepared for you. And so just start from that place of faith, make yourself available and see what the Lord will do. So for those of you, even in this hour where there's not a lot of detail or exact location, I can say that I am personally making a commitment to go and I'll be first boots on the ground there. I don't know how that's gonna happen. It's impossible for me, but I know the Lord's gonna make a way. For those of you out there who are okay with moving in faith and just say, you know what? I feel this movement in my heart. I don't know how it's gonna happen. We wanna hear from you. We need to put together waves now and get this ball moving, start looking at tickets, uh, just email deployment at cryout.com. Now our registration isn't open yet. As soon as we have a location, as soon as we know what ticket prices are gonna be, uh, we'll let you guys know, we'll send that email out, we'll, we'll hit you from all sorts of different communication methods for those of you who might be able to deploy in the coming days and weeks. But right now, we need to hear from the people who are available to go right away. And these people, you need to be squared away. You need to be able to be self-contained, especially down in those islands where there might not be infrastructure. There might be food coming in. Uh, we've experienced this before over in Dominica and other places. So all the rest of you, guys, I'm just asking. I'm asking for compassion. I'm asking for benevolence right now. We need a budget like today so I can start ordering solar lights. Power is going to be out in these places weeks, if not months. You guys remember what happened in Puerto Rico? I mean, it was months in places. We need solar lights. We need uh, solar digital Bibles. We need water filtration. We need emergency food. We need to be able to, like, if we're going to take all of this effort to get in there. We need those things on the ground right away with these first teams, which I myself will be on. So. Anyway, guys, we need your help. Please pray and just ask the Lord, Lord, what would you have me to do in this? 
Guys, this is what we're called to do. This is what we're made for. This is what you guys train for and all the rest of you. Just praying that you would consider making a donation now so we could have budget to be able to do this and do this well. I truly believe that there is a unique call on this particular deployment and a very unique apostolic assignment in this. We're gonna see God do things that we've never seen done before on deployment, and I'm really excited for you to be a part. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for your prayers. Please cover us. There's always funky island junk when we go to places like this, and especially international trips. Cover us in prayer, and we're excited. We'll keep you updated. Thanks so much, and God bless.